Hey guys, welcome to the Gary Fisher build part two. Today we assemble the bike, put it together, and watch me make a few mistakes along the way. I hope you enjoy the video. Here we go. Okay, so let's start out with reviewing the old parts I'm going to use on the bike. I'm going to choose between one of those two saddles. Here is some old mountain bike handlebars I took off one of my old bikes. Um, here are some grips. I decided to use different grips uh, in the build. Some SPD pedals. Now let's review the new parts. Here is a new bottom bracket, a new 8-speed chain, a 110 BCD 32 tooth chain ring, and some inexpensive cranks. Okay, let's get started with the build. Um, I chose to start with the cockpit. I was lucky enough that all of the shifter and brake cables moved freely and none of it needed to be replaced. So when I disassembled the bike earlier, I left everything hanging. So sit back, relax, and watch as I assemble the cockpit. Let's move on to installing the saddle. I debated in my head which saddle would look best on this bike. If you have a preference, comment below. I decided on the Brown Brooks. Remember to put plenty of grease on your seat post to prevent it from freezing and sticking in the seat tube. Here we go, inserting the seat post. Gonna give it a good wipe off, and let's move on to the bottom bracket. Remember to grease your threads to prevent the bottom bracket from seizing in there, and for easy removal when you need to do service on your bike later. You can use the bottom bracket tool in a wrench to screw in the screw in the cup here I am screwing it in and oh shit I dropped it let's go ahead and start over screw it in and get it nice and snug but not too tight let's move on to the drive side again use plenty of grease don't be afraid to get your finger stuck in the hole take the cartridge and screw it again screw it in remember it threads towards the rear of the bike let's go ahead and get this in and snug it down. Let's move on to assembling the cranks. I decided to buy these cranks when I saw them on Amazon for $35 including the chain ring because I was having a hard time sourcing an inexpensive um, chain ring that would fit the other cranks. So let's go ahead and install these now. Remember to put a little bit of grease on the bolts that tighten on the cranks. Crank it down enough to attach the crank to the square taper bottom bracket. Repeat the process on the non-drive side and we'll continue on to installing the pedals. Okay, let's install the pedals. Remember to put grease on the threads of the pedal to prevent them from seizing and sticking to the cranks. And when tightening the pedals, um, they are right and left hand sided, so make sure you check to see which pedal belongs to which side. And as a rule of thumb, when you install the pedals, always tighten them towards the front of the bike. 
let's move on to the last step, which is installing the chain. What I normally like to do when replacing a chain is line up the old chain next to the new chain and match how many links are on there and um, cut the chain to the appropriate size. Here I am um, installing the chain. Uh, let me know when you spot the mistake that I made. Everything is going smoothly. Um, I'm going to install the master link right now. There we go. I need to get one of those tools that that tighten and loosen the master link. Um, I hate getting all the grease on my fingers. Well, okay, let's go ahead and install the rear wheel and test the drivetrain out. Let me know when you spot my fault. Okay, let's go ahead and crank it for the first time and oh crap, chain fell off. Try it one more time. Maybe if I switch gears it'll work better. Here we go, oh, chain fell off again. I'm cleaning my hands and it was at this moment that I saw my error. Okay, now that I've corrected my error, everything seems to be shifting normally. And the problem that I had was I routed the chain incorrectly. I routed it underneath the chain stay instead of over. And here we are taking a look at the before walk around of the bike as compared to the finished product of version one. I am thinking I may put drop bars on this and potentially a different fork after I test ride things. Let me know how you think it turned out. Thanks for watching.